Hey, Julie, it was another history making moment on Capitol Hill today and leaders on both sides of the aisle are standing by their arguments while also agreeing to a peaceful transfer of power in the coming week. Exactly one week after the deadly attack on the nation's capital, the U.S. House of Representatives voted to impeach President Trump on one article. On this vote, the ayes are 232, the nays are 197. Incitement of insurrection, making him the first president in U.S. history to be impeached twice. Today, in a bipartisan way, the House demonstrated that no one is above the law not even the president of the United States. Ten Republicans broke rank voting in favor of impeaching the president while their fellow Republicans blasted the case. I cannot think of a more petty, vindictive, and gratuitous act than to impeach an already defeated president a week before he is to leave office. A vote to impeach will further fan the flames a partisan division. In a video message from the White House, President Trump didn't comment on the impeachment, but he did directly appeal to his supporters to refrain from violence and vandalism. Let us choose to move forward united for the good of our families, our communities, and our country. President-elect Joe Biden released a statement on the impeachment calling on lawmakers to fulfill their constitutional duty to handle the impeachment while also addressing other urgent business like the pandemic. And with less than a week until Biden's inauguration, House Democrats are calling for a peaceful transfer of power with one mission. To protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help us God. Now, the Senate will hold a trial to decide whether or not to remove Trump from office. And Mitch McConnell said today that trial will not happen until Trump is already out of office. But if they convict him, it would bar the president from ever holding office again. Julie. Thank you, Devon.